All right, so he's. So what if I get right here? What he can I do to... for you? You sound like you've had some and some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh, am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Got some questions Go for ahead. you. I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. So the town never had to pay a penalty. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Very true. Oh, he just moves back over. Excuse me, second channel. Something out. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I was just leaving. Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Yeah, uh, he saw that one. We're gonna try and do our best not to, uh, any, any bad reputation. Try is the key word, so. Okay, what's this place? Can I go on in? No, not in there. How about in here? Sick house is no place for a traveler. But they might have good loot. Okay, there's a little bit of loot. Look at all these things, they're like rats or something. Thank you. Something happened there. I don't know what. Hello, sir. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I'm amazed that they actually put in it's not the best choice. Okay, I have some, I have some right questions ahead. for you. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? It's uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Till. Telling yourself that won't make it true. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am... Lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? So, about this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor.
Is there a reason you feel like? Okay, I think I already know the reason. So we're gonna go with it. Are you done being delusional or should I wait? I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Yeah, Spacer's Choice obviously cares about his family. Spacer's Choice is built on love. And like any real love, it is cold and tough when needs must. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Seems fair. It is better than fair. It's company policy. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Let's see what Music you get. To my ears. Okay, what is what are you? Heavy Oh, you're a heavy weapon. What are you? You take light Magazine size eight light. Oh, you're a shotgun. Okay, let's go to sell. Let's see what we can sell. Do I have any junk on me? Joint actuator. Oh, I'm holding on to that. Okay, uh, sell, sell. Okay, weapons, what can we sell? Suppose we keep on to that. Wait, I have one of these? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what kind of armor is this? Riot control armor. Aramid ballistics. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> that's neat. That is neat. Okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I need three. Wow. Freaking rogue in this. I will take that. Thank you. Mm. 
that. Nothing in there. All right, thank you very much. All right. Excuse me, Not sir. Best. Let's see what you got. Music to my ears. Sell junk. Nothing junk. Okay. What's my inventory? Yeah, we got lots of space left. Have I discovered this whole area yet? Yeah, I think I have. Okay. Well, let's go. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Okay. What's all, all these about quotas? I will take that. Thank you. I need a workbench. Oh, I'm back into the saltine factory. I don't think I actually ever went... Oh, hi! Wow! I just went right through somebody. Who did I go through? Hi, buddy. Didn't mean to... Go through your internals. You could definitely say I entered somebody. What do we got? Taking all this. Terminal. Alright. From the office, read tabs in. Medical treatment is privilege, not a right. We must strive. Wow. Uh, we must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness. Wait, did I just pick up a... Well, what? What? A grenade launcher? But it doesn't do much more. Wait, what? Oh, what? Damage 84. Damage 19. Oh, okay, there's the damage. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. Out of there. Off to the other side. See what's in there. Ooh, I'll definitely pick take that, take that, thing in there, take all this. Okay, messages. Welcome, Phyllis Granger from Robert Street Austin. Owing to your hard work and positive attitude, as you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine. Oh. Personal files. Yeah. Tenderfoot. Last entry. Eh, Theodore. Ah, okay. Wow. Oh, man. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Got my sights on you. Okay, I'm out. Sorry. Sorry for disturbing you. Got my sight. He's got his sights on me, chat. What do I do? I don't think I read this one. It logs. 
Okay, we'll try to arrange that mm, wage deductions instead. Wow. Return to the root. Exit. Okay. Where did this go? Oh, it just goes up. Okay. The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked... Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you might have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. I don't plan on staying long. I understand. Your business is your own. Nonetheless, you are welcome in our little outpost. Outsiders are a rare sight in the Vale. If you are a freelancer, then I have use for you. There is pay to be earned or supplies to tide you over, as you prefer. What sort of help do you need? The sort of work for which I cannot spare my own people. I am in the midst of a difficulty, the resolution of which requires a third party, you. There's an old botanical lab, mostly abandoned now, but still eating up power from our plant, power which our cannery sorely needs. I need you to go to the geothermal plant and reroute power from the botanical lab over to us. Simple as that. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed. I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. I could use the, hum the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, let's go. Companions, new manager seminar. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger.
Companion Ledger. Uh, the Companion Ledger. This Companion Ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companion. You can see their skills, stats, status, effects, and gear. To enhance your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out, then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting your preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Wow. Oh, what's up, girl? By the way, she sounded familiar. Who's this voice actor? Huh. Anyways. Gear. Okay, so armor seven. Yeah, well, you can have at least have this. But this is nice. Sneak plus five. That's actually tech skills plus five. Oh man, I got a lot of good stuff out of this. Out of this. Out of this place. All right. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Gotcha. Requires key card. Well, damn. Well, we are definitely on our way. Okay. Mister, can we talk? Sorry. You got a minute? Yes, I do. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. This is about the deserters, so what's the other side? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Well, it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Okay. Well. By the way, Chad, I'm really liking this. We finally got ourselves another companion. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a new another weapon. Oh yeah, there was, was there something else in the companion section? Yes, companion wants to talk. Okay, occasionally companions may have something on their mind. When you see a, a thought bubble above their head, try to talk to them. They may have something interesting to say. Companion legend. Companion legend shows you everything you need to know. Oh, still more to talk about. Exploration quest dependencies. And some people may require. Uh, require completing another quest before they will assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. Okay. 
Okay. But I'm quite surprised that her armor that she has is better than the simple, this simple, the hibernation suit. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well. Let's get going. All right. Now I got to take a look at uh controls, key binding, companion stuff again. Okay. Uh companion move Z. Companion attack X. Companion special ability C V. Okay. Interesting. Party skills. Okay, passive only attacks targets that a uh, companion has been explicitly told to. Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. Okay. I'm probably going to get her killed within the first co within first combat. Forced worst. Also, did I ever get any more? Oh, I still only have one. Well, anyways. Hey, Miss Parvati, come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? About those... about those fees you want. You run into any trouble? I'm all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> Hoping for something tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Woo! Cartridge. Wow. Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you... He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? All right. Uh, exchange. Oh, has it now? Wow, fourteen positive. Nice. Well. Time to, uh, well, we're done with that. Okay, workers are abandoned. Psyquist, die robot. Long tomorrows. 
That's completed. Uh, Fistful of Digits. Has placed a bounty on dangerous marauders. Okay, die robot. I'm gonna speak to the vicar. Uh, Pavardi wants to visit the town's vicar. She's a little uncertain about the task Reed has set before you. The vicar might be able to provide some more guidance. Gotcha. <sighs> Terror, a biological overview. All right. Oh. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yeah, I can see what you mean. It is very clean. Oh, well, there's a person we need to meet, and we will talk to them. Tomorrow, chat. Thank you guys for coming out to the stream. Hope you had yourselves a fantastic time. I gotta get out of here because I gotta get to work and also gotta make sure my dog gets let out before we, before I go. And uh, prep myself for a little bit more work. Gotta get my lunch and stuff like that. So tomorrow we'll be doing a full day of this because I'm actually really interested in this. And I'm already loving my build. Not very powerful, but very persuasional. Anyways, thank you guys, and then on Sunday, depending on, um, yeah, Sunday, it will be very depending, and I might do a full day of one of the two games of this game, or Dragon Age, or I might do a split screen. Um, uh, other than that, I'm not entirely too sure. Huh. Oh. Well, I guess by standing still, it does like a little 360 uh, spin around on my character. Interesting. But anyways, thank you guys once again for coming out. Hope you have still a fantastic time. Hope you have still a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, chat. Also, if you haven't, if you're watching this and you haven't pressed that follow button, if you'd like to, go ahead and press that follow button. Helps me out. Helps you out. In case you guys want to. Uh, You'll see more of my video, uh, more of my streams, let you know when I go live. I'll also, throw my Twitter follow just in case Twitch does not alert you in time. Twitter will also alert you when I go live. So thank you once again, and as always, chat, stay active and stay connected. Hope to see you all next time. This is Zircon, signing out. Bye, y'all.